I've done it. I've killed the war pig. Let me tell you a story. What's happening at the moment is the first gear cog seems like it's going to try and jump off and smash into the side of my engine cases all the time. I don't think it's the gear shift selector, that's what I originally thought it was, the problem was. I would come to an intersection as you do and it doesn't quite go in and up or down into the first or second gear. It's a bit weird to try and get down to your first gear. The second gear is fine, I'm clicking into second and right around all day, like it's not a problem. First gear though, if I chuck it into first, it sounds like it's dropped a, it's a clip that holds it on or something, and I haven't gotten into it yet. I'm going to have to pull the motor out, pull it on the bench, and really see what the problem is with this thing. So what bike does a Suzuki DR650 rider get to upgrade a DR650? Is there an upgrade? Well, we're about to find out. We're gonna go for another DR650, of course. What else is there? You can't upgrade a DR650. There's no other single cylinder, big bore, 650cc, air-cooled, beast that's as good on the road as it is off the road. It's a street bike, it's a dirt bike, you can go anywhere on it. Yeah, I've had a bit of a problem with mine, but shit happens. At least it hasn't got electronics hanging off all over it. So, you get another DR650, and I'm going to take you through this one. This is when I bought the bike. I've come for a ride from Margaret River, 250 k's away. Done on a test ride. It's basically been a stock bike. He has got the seat on it. He has did have solid springs in it, like upgraded front springs and some crappy windscreen, uh, whatever they are. I've done a couple of mods since then, but I'm going to take you through my first impressions of the bike from that ride that day. Skids and stuff. What do you reckon? Runs all right. Seems like she might be running okay. Bit of filled of oil, bit of oil in the airbox, everything else seems to check out. Good wheels, good rims, lower pegs. Something going on with that gear lever, but I'll sort that out. Bloody clutch is nice, like I didn't know, and, and the throttle. I'm, gonna throttle. I'm actually gonna have a throttle you can use. I shouldn't be more than a few minutes. Yeah, no worries. Is that chattering? It's matter at the wheelies and my bike is. The first little taste of stand. With stocky engine set up, ah, the front springs and everything else stock. I think they've got different tyres on them, but they're very straight, street oriented tyres. Bike's very small compared to my other setup, but I kind of I feel like I might actually like this stock rear spring if once I have my valving in it, it might be enough for me. It's um. It seems to, it's a bit bouncy, and it feels like the 7.5 spring for me has always seemed a little bit like my ass end sits up, I can't get my weight back where I need it. These pegs might be helping to get my weight back. This has just got hard springs in the front and no, no valving. It sits up alright. Oh jeez, it's a bit tricky to get to, I'm noticing with the gears. A bit tricky to get to the um with my boots without boots so I've just got shoes on to the gear shift lever um but it does sit all right this bike just so being that it's so soft a chattering motor which might be just the needing a pipe on it so it can actually breathe um but let's, I'm going to do all that testing. I'm going to test the needle out. I'm going to test it stop stop pipe with the needle. I'm going to like just shave needle. I don't want to do the valve um, the jets because the different pilot jet, like the 45 pilot jet, 
actually ends up giving you way too much fuel consumption. This fuel consumption on this thing is sick as it is, but it only needs a little help. And I think that needle shaving might do it. And then when that white spacer underneath the needle starts digging away in the bottom of the carby slide, well then you can put, lift your needle up to make it stock again. And it might be all it needs. Where have I got? Oh yeah, another bit of uh, trouser. <laughs> it's so surprising because I, I think these springs are better for me, like this rear spring. I actually feel like I'm getting more traction even though the um, bloody valving and well even though the tyres are restricted or has very interesting. Ooh, gotta watch the stuff flicking up and hit a bunch of feet though. Um yeah this tire this uh <laughs> this screen being doesn't really protect you. Like no screen really protects your helmet because it's not what they're go is but it's to keep the weight the wind off of you which it's not really doing but when I'm out on the highway at highway speeds compared to my custom one which I'm gonna be making available to the public soon we got a bit more width here so it protects through your chest a bit more and your shoulders keeps the wind all off you don't notice it this here you'll hardly notice that there's bloody uh, screen on the bike but this screen almost well $90, 100 dollars but they don't give you that much protection they don't give you 90 dollars worth of protection these ones we're also going to do a peg shootout against the dropped pegs from pro cycle and the dropped and reared pegs that this bike has um, it's too early to tell where your control points are at the moment it's, it feels kind of cool because they sit back a bit further you got that gap to your your levers so whether that's better or not uh, i'll be i'll be uh getting a more of a feel once we hit the dirt this new bike so smooth my first bike that i got was quite good 15,000 k's it was quite nice uh everything was reasonable i thought it was good until i get this 15,000 k's on this bike and like the clutch is beautiful the throttle was just smooth i didn't realize the had had smooth throttles only thing is, is a bit of chatter which i'm not sh sure just yet that might have something to do with the exhaust escaping so i'll be doing a shootout with the carb slight carby mods bit by bit at a time do the needle i'm going to shave a needle because i think that might be the only the way to go shave a needle might be all that these bikes need and also we'll be doing a pipe shootout so this has got a stock pipe on it i'm going to do a shootout with my pipe on the other bike and a new pipe again see if we can get it quieter but i feel like that's where the power does come from with these bikes when you change the pipe they actually do quite give you quite a good chunk of extra power so as i hinted at on that ride back uh there are a couple of little things that i'm going to be doing with this bike and i'm going to show you through and really what you do change to get the better power out of these drs all these other people are changing all this shit on these bikes it's a lot more simple than what goes around and we're gonna help the DR community at large realize that you don't have to go crazy with these bikes to get them running smoothly to get the power off the bottom I find no problem with the power I find no problem with the light and we're gonna do all these tests with this bike make sure you check out this video for some riding and showing you what the DR can do or this video and it shows you what the difference is between a Del Kevic exhaust and a FMF exhaust like and subscribe. Peace.